Welcome everybody to another Mac Doodles. I'm your host and instructor, Erica Wajardo, and today we're going to be doodling one of my favorite holidays, which is Dia de los Muertos. What does Dia de los Muertos translate to in English? Well, Day of the Dead. Since Hispanic Heritage Month is coming to an end, and today is the last day, I thought it'd be fun to kind of journey through the celebration a little ahead of schedule. Usually, Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertos, is celebrated on November 2nd. It is a time of when we remember those who have passed away and celebrate their lives with fun items that they may have enjoyed while they were living or spending time with relatives and talking about those past memories with those who have passed. I personally enjoy it because I just love how the feeling of getting together with close friends, talking on the phone, just sharing those memories. And then I also love those vivid colors that are in sugar skulls, the marigold flowers, and the tasty treats that come with the celebration, such as Pan de Muertos. Well, if you're ready to learn more about Dia de los Muertos, I'm ready to get started. The Festival of Bones by Luis San Vicente. The skeletons are going along the road to the graveyard. They are coming. They are going. And you see them passing by. They are walking over here. They are walking over there. They are the dead. How happy they are. Hey! I'm flying. Hey! I'm flying. The festival is so far away. The day of the dead is today. They're coming and they're going and you'll see them passing by. They're dancing over here. They're chatting over there. It's their day and they're going to have a good time. Pascual's skeleton sings a song. Without any pain or dread, although half a leg is really gone, still a flower sits upon his head. I bring it all. I'm not missing anything. Fruit, water and salt, music, alote, and bread. It's the offering, and dinner is served. In the cemetery, the kids are asking for the baby skeleton with her scary mask and her box with the little candle. Giddy up! Giddy up! Oh, they want to catch me. To the ugly skeleton, they want to marry me. Strung out in rows, dancing a wild, wild dance. The Day of the Dead. The Day of the Dead is an ancient, Aztec celebration of death, the bittersweet companion to life. Over hundreds of years, the Day of the Dead has become a part of the Catholic tradition in Mexico. This holiday, which actually lasts two nights and three days, is a time when people remember family and friends who have died. Many believe that the dead return home and visit loved ones, feast on their favorite foods, and listen to their favorite music in their homes. The family honors and celebrates their deceased with ofriendas or offerings. Give thanks for the lives of the people they loved. During the Day of the Dead, people also recognize the importance of life itself. People in Mexico celebrate the Day of the Dead from October 31st to November 2nd. 
beginning on the night of October 31st and November 1st, they remember the lives of children who have died. They remember the lives of adults who have died, beginning on the night of November 1st and continuing through November 2nd. How can you celebrate the Day of the Dead? If you're lucky enough to be in Mexico during the festivities for El Dia de los Muertos, make sure you visit the local cemetery. Many families visit the graves of their loved ones. They clean the graves up, making sure the grass is trimmed or the surrounding ground is swept. That fresh paint is applied where it's needed and that every part of the grave site is renewed and refreshed. Then they decorate the graves itself with flowers. Often, families and friends will make themselves comfortable on blankets or in chairs and have, and have a picnic at the gravesite, eating their favorite foods of the person who has died and telling stories about that person's life. Sometimes the visitors stay up all night, enjoying good times with their relatives, both the living and the dead. One of the most common ways to celebrate the Day of the Dead in Mexico is to build an altar. Some people build the altar at the grave and some people build it in their living room or in their backyard. But no matter where the altar is built, it is always something special that the dead person will be enjoying. In other places outside of Mexico, people freely borrow elements of the Day of the Dead to create their own traditions. You can too remember them. Even though you honor and remember the dead on the Day of the Dead, it is happy and social occasion. It's a party, not a funeral. How to build an altar. There are many ways to build and decorate an altar. You can use your imagination. Ask yourself, whose life would I like to remember? If you want, you can celebrate the lives of more than one person. This person loved when he or she was alive. What food or drink? What kind of flowers? What sort of perfume? What favorite things did he or she do? What games? When you have thought about the person who died, you can make the altar as personal as you want. Let the altar bring to mind all the things that person liked when he or she was alive. First, find a table or cardboard box that you can decorate. Make sure you ask your parents or teacher if you can use that table or cardboard box for at least three days. Second, find a picture of the person whose life you want to celebrate. Put that picture on the altar, maybe in the center where everyone will see it. Many families also put a cross or a picture of the favorite saint near or beside the picture of the person who had died. Third, decorate the table. Some of the items people decorate, some of the items people decorate their altars with are candles, pretty paper called papel picado, candy skulls, food like pan del muerto, bread of the dead, and special drinks like hot chocolate or fruit drink. If you use candles, make sure your your teacher or parents help you light them. You can buy papel picado, candy schools, and pan del muertos at stores that specialize in Mexican crafts or on the internet. But you can make your own if you want. We provide recipes for pan del muerto and candy schools on, this, on the page that follow. For papel picado, you need brightly colored tissue paper, scissors, and a fun imagination. Fold the paper up at least four times. Then take your scissors and cut down into the edges of the folds. Maybe cut off some corners here and there. Then unfold the paper once and cut more and cut some more designs. Do it again and again until you have unfolded the paper completely. Look what you have created. Un papel picado. Make as many as you want, 
and enjoy yourself. If you want to learn more about Papel Picado, we suggest you read Making Magic Windows, Creating Cut Paper Art by Carmen Lomas Garza. You can also include items that show the things that the person did when they were alive. For example, maybe the person you love was a doctor. You can include a stethoscope on the table. Maybe he or she loved to garden. You can include a packet of seeds or some gardening gloves. When you decorate, don't forget the flowers. Many people like to use marigolds and chrysanthemums for altars dedicated to adults. And baby breath or white orchids for altars dedicated to babies. Think about what flowers that person liked and include those in, on your altar. Last but not least, you can offer your loved one a gift that you think would make them happy. A pretty bracelet, a book that I always liked, or a crazy hat. Pan del Muerto. How to make pan del muerto. Pan del muerto is a sweet bread shaped like an oval. Although it can also be shaped like a person or an animal or even a bone, how to make a sugar skull. Sugar skulls are brightly colored candies shaped like skulls. People often eat them just like Valentine's Day candy. They remind us that we too will die someday. This is not more or sad. Instead, it's a reminder to enjoy life while we're here. Are flowers carried to the kingdom of death? Is it true that we go? Is it true that we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Are we dead there or do we still live? Do we exist there again? Lines from an ancient poem. If you enjoyed this book, you may enjoy other books for kids from Cinto Puntos Press. Make sure to visit your Mesquite Public Library for more details.
Well, I hope that you had fun today while learning about Dia de los Muertos. And if you want to learn more about Spanish Heritage Month and some of the things that may be associated with it as far as the arts are concerned, I would suggest looking into our YouTube playlist. I made a special one just for this month and I will do it for other months that we are celebrating. Until we see each other again, stay safe.